Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how we can add some objects to our Rhino model. Uh, you can go to File, Insert, uh, go to this folder. Uh, so I have some objects here, as you see there are SketchUp objects. Uh, there are so many free objects available for SketchUp and they work very well with Rhino. So for instance, if you go to 3dwarehouse.sketchup.com, you can use many of these objects. And the other types of the objects that you can import is like .3dm, which is the same file type as Rhino. We have .3ds or .fbx that you can use if you are importing your object uh, from 3ds Max or even from Revit, you can uh, export them as .fbx and import them here uh, again as .fbx. But for SketchUp files, it's uh, exactly .skp, uh, so that's the exact same object that you have no need uh, to like export it in any specific format. You can directly import it here uh, in Rhino. Uh, I'm going to go with this item, open. And here, I want to go with this last uh, icon, which says linked. When you go with like linked, uh, rather than embedded, uh, it's going to actually uh, link your file to that object and that means your Rhino file is going to be much lighter. So I'm going to go with link, OK. I want to use this as a block instance, so it's going to automatically uh, make that into a block. And I want to go with prompt, so I can uh, kind of locate the object and I want to go with uniform because I don't want to change any scales here. Uh, OK. I'll go with defaults here. Sometimes you see that when you import an object, the screen gets uh, actually uh, dark. Uh, and I'm going to show you how we can take care of that. So first, I want to click somewhere around here. This is the object. Uh, we need to just go to Render Tools, go to our uh, Sun and Location settings, change this to here. For some reason, it's going to change the location to like the location of the object. But uh, when you go with here, uh, the rest of the settings are going to be good. Uh, so that's the plant. I can scale it here. Uh, type SC. How about I change it to one fourth of the size uh, and I can adjust it in height from here. I'm going to move it around there. Uh, and I want to copy this object a couple of times, uh, change the scale and rotation, and have it here. I want to rotate this one a little bit so it's not exactly the same. And I want to scale it a little bit. So some objects are added both inside and outside the model. Uh, in the next video, we are going to make a render.